Hi guys, I'm Jess and this is my Golden Retriever Hudson. We've been living out of the back of my 2017 Hyundai Tucson camping, traveling, cooking, and exploring all over the U.S. If you love the outdoors and want to see our adventures roaming the country and discovering some really cool places, please like, subscribe, turn your notifications on, and continue watching. Good morning, people of the world. Um, we are going to go do Bell Rock Pathway to Lama Loop. This view is like absolutely stunning driving through like Sedona's actual little downtown area. So we just got to our destination and we had to purchase a pass. This is called Bell Rock Pathway. Uh, it's like a little bit outside of Sedona. We had to drive back towards Flagstaff just a tiny bit. Still in Sedona, but on the Flagstaff side. Right in front of us, I'm pretty sure this is Bell, Ro Bell Rock. Maybe this is Bell Rock. Nah, it seems like it would be this one. One of these is Bell Rock. This is the Bell Rock pathway. Maybe they're all bells. Maybe that's the secret. <laughs> You kind of could see it, right? Like, they all look bellish. But there is like one that is specifically bell rock. I am not in like a fast walking mood today, so I'm making Hudson just like leisurely stroll along with me here. Uh, there's a bunch of mountain bikers out on this path actually. So, and there's someone running. So we're not really feeling too fit today. Um, I'm not. I'm just like out for a leisurely stroll, a leisurely hike. I'm not in a hurry today. I just want to like take my time and enjoy the scenery. Oh, I ate too much for breakfast, so I'm pretty full. I think that's that's weighing me down. All right, guys. I'm pretty freaking sure this is Bell Rock. I mean, look at it. It's gotta be Bell Rock. What do you think? I think so. It's possible. We truly, truly are not moving fast today. But I'm okay with it. We're still out here, still getting in a hike. We're just moving a little slower than usual. Our normal pace, like, on hikes like this is probably, like, between a 19 to 22 minute mile. Right now, I think we're at, like, 25 or 26 minutes per mile. So we're not moving fast. We might even be going slower than that. Uh, but we're out here just enjoying it. I got a little hot, took my jacket off. We're still, we're still out here. Still getting it done just taking our time. Another view of Bell Rock behind us over there. Huts is up ahead. Are you up there? Yeah, I let him off leash. I know, I'm bad. But he's so good and he's so happy off leash. You can't blame me. Uh, daily feelings update. Feeling or being alone, just me and Hudson out here. It started to feel pretty normal and uh, just like day-to-day -day life. It's not, I'm not sad or really scared. I don't feel too lonely. And when I am feeling that way, I just give someone a call. Like talking on the phone's not the same as having someone here, but it satisfies the urge for connection, at least in the moment. And having him here, he's a cuddler. So I'm, I'm still getting some cuddles in, you know? Going. We're seeing these piles of rocks pointing our way back to the path. Huh? Are you following it? Good job. There's our beautiful bell. You just rest for a minute. Cool down. You had some water. Yeah. Good boy. That's a good boy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, you are a good boy. 
I don't know if you guys can see the people that made it on top of Bell Rock. That's pretty freaking cool. We're all the way down here, huh? We made a wrong turn. Let's go back. We're supposed to go on the llama loop. Ah! Okay. We took a wrong turn. We kept following the Bell Rock pathway. We were supposed to turn at the llama loop. Um, so we're hiking back a little bit. I think we only went the wrong way for about 0.2 miles. This here is the intersection that we were supposed to take. Supposed to go towards the llama. We went over there continuing on the Bell Rock pathway. So now we're back on track. We're now on the llama trail. Uh, not sure if there's a rock shape like a llama or if they just, you know, named this the llama trail. I don't see any llamas so far. I don't know. I don't think this rock in front of us looks very llama-like, but maybe it, maybe it is the llama. Too, buddy. Hold on. Maybe that's the llama? I don't know. I don't think we see any llamas. Alright, we've got another candidate for the llama rock. You guys think it's this one? Like, are those supposed to be its ears and that's its body? That seems like a possibility. I don't know, Hutz. You're not convinced. I know. One of them has to be the llama could be this one. I know, you're a good boy. Just like that, almost seven miles later, we're back to the beginning of the trail. All right, hold on. Hold on. I gotta get the keys out. We're back on Forest Road 525 for like the fifth or sixth day. <laughs> Going back to find a spot. Maybe the same spot we had, maybe a new one. We'll find out. Oh no, someone is there. Oh, that's a bummer, but that's the spot that we've camped at the last couple nights. Someone's definitely camping there. That is a bummer, but we'll look for something else. We're venturing further down the road. We've walked this way a couple times, and I think some spots down here so hopefully we can snag something well we're making it up to this uh, cow guard cattle guard which we haven't walked too much beyond here so I'm not sure if there's spots up here or not we'll have to find out we found ourselves a spot I think as long as there's connection here like I'm, I'm cool with it all right Let's get out and check it out. This is the new spot, the new digs. Still pretty cool, huh? Yeah, not bad. Someone left a hiking pole in the fire pit. Uh, impulse decision made. We booked a hotel for the night. We're gonna go drive there now. And we booked it in Flagstaff because it was cheaper. So we got like an hour drive to get back to Flagstaff. Uh, it's the Days Inn by Windham or something. So, oh, I gotta get Hudson's water dish. Got his water dish, okay. We got an hour drive to Flagstaff, to this hotel. We're just staying there one night. We're gonna do some laundry, watch some football, and chillax and get all my stuff uploaded using the wi-fi it'll be good sundays are not like uh, bad days to spend at hotels they're cheaper than other days hudson is pushing buttons okay we just checked into the hotel i got the room key now we're gonna go check out the room what are you so excited for oh get up there get up there can you make it over to the other bed <laughs> <laughs> You're so excited. 
Yeah. It costs $35, $35 pet fee for here. That's expensive. Yeah, you're expensive. You make this a little bit more expensive. You're worth it. Getting some laundry going. back 30 minutes we got the laundry going hudson had dinner oh he's a happy boy he's happy i'm back in the room let's get the tv on the game starts in 30 minutes who's a hussy fussy who's a hussy fussy hmm? <laughs> oh he's so cute and cuddly i gotta go switch my laundry over in a minute Look at who we got cleaned out of the washer and dryer. Yeah, it's your wiener dog. Huh, I know, you're so cute. <laughs> He's all clean, Ah, oh, yeah. Now I gotta fold my clothes over here and I got one more load drying right now. We got Hutsy over here. All my laundry is folded right there. Two loads. Plus, I washed my comforter and sheets. Look at this boy. He's so cute. We're just watching Little Bills, Kansas City. The Bills are losing, but they just scored a touchdown. So, hopefully, they can get there together. All right, Flats. We're in, we're, we're in the hotel room for the night. We're going to watch the game and go to bed.